Well, here I am again. I'm waiting for the mail to arrive and trying to plug power into this phone so it doesn't stop. So, I have been drawing a lot lately on my iPad. My iPad Pro in this case, but it doesn't have to be a Pro, it could be a regular iPad. Um, and my favorite app for drawing is called Sketch Club, and it costs $2.99. And it's the best $2.99 you can buy, you can spend on an app for art. I think it's quite fun, and I use the vector tool, which essentially will allow me to map out a shape in a particular color I choose from the color menu. But black matches my soul, so let's just use black. The other thing that I use when I'm doing drawings, I use that one tool almost exclusively, and I play with the opacity down here. But uh, I like to set this tool on gradient, which will, as you can see, make it from light and dark. The darkest part is the point that you start. Well, no, that isn't true. Here I'm lying. Is it the point you start? I thought it was the point you start at. But maybe it's... Huh. Let me try something here. I guess, I guess it's not quite the point you start because it should be darkest here and then get lighter where it continues to be dark there. Anyway, it's essentially where you start. And the most op opacity with the gradient has it go from dark to light. Is that always the case? I guess it more or less is always the case. Well, you'll figure it out. What do you want me to do? Chew the food for you? No. You can figure it out. So another thing I like to do is start with black. Color fill black. And I add light to it. So what am I going to draw here? Of course, now you see the reflection of my ceiling. I'll draw these glasses. Right here. Um, well, you'll just have to take my word for it that I'm drawing those glasses because am I going to have to use white? There, it's easier to see. I normally work the other way around, but in this instance, I will use this. So, here's my canvas, there's my subject, here's my pen, and let's just start. Start with sort of a gray, and it's set, the opacity is halfway down, so it's going to be even lighter than that. But what I am doing is I'm mapping out the areas of the pair of glasses. And as you can see, I'm very accurate in what I'm doing. These are nerdy glasses that are used for um, seeing things up close. They're magnifying glasses. So they have little plus signs on the ends here, which are kind of neat. One of the things, drawing with an iPad with a stylus, one of the things you might end up really not liking is how slippery the surface is. And sometimes when I have to do 
very exacting calligraphic like work. I'll actually put a piece of tracing paper on top of this. The pencil goes through the tracing paper to work, but it provides a little bit of resistance to my stylus so it's not so slippery. So here's the pair of glasses. So now let's just keep on. I've increased my opacity here so it's darker. Oops, this goes on top of that. Why is, oh, let's make it black. Um, when you have it set up with your iPad Pro, your hand, your fingers that touch the screen don't, aren't registered by the app. Some of you can, otherwise you have to be sort of careful not to have your hands hitting the screen. One thing I like to do as well, let's say I like the way this looks. Let's pretend I like it. Do I like anything these days? Probably not. Let's just keep on doing a little bit more here. So I'm just building up areas and eventually I'm going to say I'm done. These don't look very, these look sort of like they were run over by a truck. It's supposed to look more three-dimensional, so we're going to fix that right now. What I'm going to do is add, no, it's too much. There, that's fine. Except I'm going to make it be here. The light is coming from this side, so now it sort of looks more like it's supposed to. And I'm going to add shadows of the various parts of the glasses, as you can see here. And now I'm going to add highlights. Where do I see a highlight on this? Sometimes I have to do more than one here because of the gradient thing. And it has these ena um, not enamel, inset metal pluses on each end. And I do it twice again or undo to be able to fill in the... God damn it! Thank you! To fill in the... Uh, both halves, halves of the gradient thing going on here. So that's sort of what they look like. They still look like they were run over by a something. These are bifocals. Here you see a little bit of light against the dark background. On the other side, you don't see that. You see just dark. Okay, let's get back to light again. These glasses have um, some sort of sort of shield thing going on in the back of the things. Those were probably to keep uh, they had a mesh or something on them to keep sparks from flying. So these were probably used by very talented and skilled 
spot welders or something to, for doing very small, maybe jewelry kind of work where they would want to weld something. I didn't know anything about jewelry, as you can tell by the fact that I don't know the answer to this. Um, but um, I suspect that's what these did once upon a time <clears throat> hold some sort of screen like thing to keep your eyes from being damaged by flying sparks or bits of metal or something. Maybe that was it. Maybe it was for grinding metal. A hole right there. I guess there has to be a little hole right here too. Then Anyway, this is how I draw using this app, and it's really a great app, especially if you're using this one tool. One of the concerns I when I when I draw on my iPad, I can draw to make it look pretty realistic, pretty much like a photograph. But I don't want to do that. I want it clear that it isn't a photograph. I'm not taking a photograph. I'm drawing a picture. I like it to be obvious that it is a digital thing made with ones and zeros on some sort of device. You know, you know that I can draw well. I mean, I hope you know that I can draw well. Um, but when I draw on this thing, I sort of want it to look not like it's a drawing, because I could draw perfectly fine without this. But I want it to look like it's a digital thing. Made digitally. It still looks crooked. It still looks like it. I think it's the shape of this lens. It's quite possible that this, these pair of glasses are slightly bent anyway. A lot of things in my life are bent. <sighs> yeah, your mind's in the gutter. I can tell that right now. Right in the gutter. How am I doing here? Still looks crooked. I guess the glasses look kind of crooked. Where, where is it? Where is it going wrong? These are very thick pieces of glass as well. up there. And this is what it looks like, folks. I don't, I'm not cheating here. This is sort of what it looks like. Ta-da! 
when you zoom in, you know, you see what these shapes look like. They're just very, um, what's the word I want? Geometric shapes. Now I'm going to do something. The, the background and the through the glass is just a little too much the same. So I'm going to just add the slightest bit of light more than that. Three swipes. We'll, we'll try three swipe, four swipes. Three, four. There. So that makes it look more than trans there's a slight difference between inside the glass and outside so what do we think do we want to have anything else let's try something else here just making this darker And then I'll go back to the white and just add little tiny bits of sparkle. Full on sparkle on the tiny little bits of this thing that are very light. I guess that was it. No, right here. There you go. What do you think? Can you see myself in this? Where's, where's the mirror? There I am. Look at that handsome man in the gloom. Get Sketch Club. You and you and you. Get it. Three bucks.